Welcome everyone, my name is Joe, I'm from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the Spindle Mattress. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about the mattress, the pros, the cons, who it's a good fit for, who it's not a good fit for. Basically by the end of the video, you're gonna have a pretty good idea if you're gonna to wanna to get, so stay tuned. If you want to see a list of our favorite latex mattresses, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Latex Mattress. So we have the Spindle mattress here. It is an all-natural Dunlop latex mattress. I've actually reviewed this mattress before, so I'm kind of giving my updated thoughts. Before we jump into the review, I want to hear from you. I'm very interested to know what's gotten you interested in all-natural latex mattresses. Is it because you're worried about chemicals in your mattresses? Is it because of cooling? Is it because of the durability? Let me know in the comments, and I'd be very interested to see what everyone says. Let's talk about the construction of the spindle mattress. We've got the medium setting here. We have nine inches in total, three layers of all natural Dunlop processed latex. Natural latex is gonna be very bouncy. You can see that it's immediately responsive. So just know that it's very bouncy and just kind of assess whether you want something to be more bouncy or less bouncy when you look at a natural latex mattress. It's also gonna be more durable, way more durable than other foam alternatives. Uh, more bouncy, which I said, it's also going to be pretty breathable, so I would not worry about sleeping hot with this type of mattress. So the pressure relief is going to be pretty good. I would stay tuned a little bit later. I'm going to show you exactly how well this mattress relieves pressure. Very supportive mattress overall. It's definitely a good balance of comfort and support having these three all-natural latex layers. What's cool about the spindle is they give you three layers and you kind of arrange it yourself. And it's customizable as well. So this is the medium setting. If I wanted to make it a little bit firmer, I could just kind of rearrange the layers to make it a little bit firmer. If I wanted to be even firmer, they can just replace one of the layers. So you pretty much can get the exact kind of firmness that you want without having to get it a whole new mattress. So all natural latex can be more breathable, durable, good pressure relief, good support, and it's very customizable as well. So pretty cool construction overall. All right, now let's talk about firmness and feel. This is the medium setting, and within medium, you could actually configure it to be slightly softer or slightly firmer. I've done the slightly softer version, and I put this at about a six and a half out of 10, right about average for the mattresses that I've reviewed. So you can customize this mattress to be basically whatever firmness you want, so that's something to note. As far as feel is concerned, the number one thing you should know is that this is very responsive, very bouncy. So if I push my hand in here, take it away, it immediately snaps back into place. If I draw this lacrosse ball right here, It'll bounce right back up. So you get a nice foam feel, very bouncy, good pressure relief and support at the same time. Just number one thing you should know is that it's very bouncy. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions and just know that this is the medium configuration. And within medium, you can get a slightly softer or slightly firmer uh, version, depending on how you arrange the layers. This is the slightly softer. But starting on my back, I feel like this is a very good match for me. It kind of conforms very well to the curves of my body and then kind of holds me up other than that. It's a very good match for me there. Switching onto my side now, I feel like the pressure relief is pretty good, surprisingly good actually. So very good match for me as well. Switching onto my stomach, I feel like it's a little bit soft here, but given that this is kind of a, the medium soft configuration, you can pretty much get whatever configuration you want, whatever firmness you want. So if you were just a stomach sleeper, I would get a slightly uh, firmer version of this mattress and it could be a good fit for you there. Over mattress clarity, you're gonna see some subjective opinions. You're also gonna see some objective tests. One test we really like is a pressure map test. It shows you exactly how well each mattress releases pressure. So I get down on a pressure map, lie down on my back, side, and stomach. And you're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. The only thing to note is if you have a different body type than me, you may see different results, but let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person. I want to give my experience with the spindle mattress here. So what's interesting with the spindle, as Joe mentioned, is it's configured to however you want it to be in terms of firmness. So we did the medium configuration and the softest version of that. So it's kind of a medium soft feel. So in terms of sleeping positions, on my back, great overall support. My hips sink into the mattress like just the right amount, not too far. On my side, surprisingly good press relief. A lot of times at latex, I'm not a big fan of this, especially for pressure relief, but on my shoulders and my hips, barely any pressure at all. On my stomach, it's a little bit too soft for me. However, you have other configurations you can do. So thank you for your heavier person like myself. You sleep on your back, side, or stomach. You could find something to fit you on this mattress. 
If you sleep with a partner, you're gonna to wanna to consider something called motion transfer. Basically, if your partner is moving around that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? To test that, we've got a glass here. Now, natural latex doesn't have the best motion isolation, so it will transfer over some motion. We'll show you that here. The glass is kind of moving. I also had Martin on my team kind of jump in and out of bed as I was laying down. And I did feel a little bit of motion transfer over there. So that's just kind of something to note with this type of mattress. If you sleep with a partner or you'd like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you're going to want to consider edge support. Basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're going to fall off? In this case, I've got an all latex uh, foam mattress here. I'm sitting towards the edge of the bed. I'm getting a little bit of that kind of objecting for the bed feeling. I'm going to lie down on my back now towards the edge of the bed. I'm getting a little bit of that rolling off the bed feeling, so I would say edge support isn't that great on this mattress. All right, let's talk through some of the pros of this mattress or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. Number one, it's all natural, so if you're worried about kind of chemicals in your mattress, it could be a good fit for you. Number two, cooling. This is not going to sleep hot, so if you're worried about sleeping hot, definitely take a look at the spindle mattress. Number three, durability. Natural latex is very durable, so this mattress is going to last you quite a long time, much longer than bed-in-the-box mattresses. Number four, you're going to find the right firmness for you, so they have firmness options, and then within the firmness options, you can have a slightly softer or slightly firm version they can also replace different layers so you don't have to fully get a new mattress to find the right firmness for you so that's really great as well all right now let's talk through some of the cons of this mattress or who i think this may not be the best fit for number one the price is pretty high so natural latex is pretty hard to source very expensive material so because of that the mattress is pretty expensive so it might not be in everyone's budget Number two, it's very, very bouncy. So this is kind of a feel preference type of thing. If you don't want bounce, um, this is definitely not gonna be the right fit for you. If you wanna really sink into the mattress like you do with kind of like memory foam, that's not really gonna happen here. So there are certain types of feels that this doesn't really provide. Number three, um, this is very heavy. It comes in three very heavy layers. Um, you get 10 pages of instructions. It's hard to assemble. You kind of need a team to do so. Once it is assembled, it's all good, but just know that it does take a while and it's pretty burdensome to get this thing actually set up. All right, to wrap up, there's a lot to like about the Spindle mattress. It sleeps cool. It's very durable. You're going to find the right firmness for you. It's a great match of comfort and support as well. Just know that it's very bouncy and it's a little bit pricey and it's heavy and kind of hard to assemble. But I think a lot of people are going to like this mattress. So that's basically it. If you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.